Hello, I uh, just wanted to show you my old Boomerang uh, Tamiya model um, RC car. Uh, it, I bought it I believe in 1986. It's uh, probably close to 30 years old now. Um, it's getting up there and this was my uh, the fun I had uh, building this thing from scratch. A lot of uh, Tamiya owners out there and fans will know that you get the, part, the car in parts and most of the fun is building it and then uh, modifying it and you can buy upgrades and do all sorts of things. Uh, so I had it sitting in the basement for quite a while and unfortunately um, the battery as you can see here this old uh, NICAD battery pack right here I'm not even sure if it was a it looks like it was a some kind of a knockoff or I'm not sure if it was a real branded Tamiya but uh, essentially I mean it feels like it's bulging it's been you know it's a 30 year old NICAD battery which has gone through a lot of charges so really chances are uh, it's not going to do very well and when I tried to run the car after charging it for about uh, a couple, you know, maybe five, six hours, uh, even overnight, it did not do a thing. So I went ahead, thanks to eBay, I went ahead and bought a, ni a nickel metal hydride battery. Hopefully this is the right size. I ordered it specifically to replace this from Hong Kong. You can see here it's coming from... Uh, Cheng Hui Man, Hot Energy Room 3, Flat 21HQ, 118 Young Uk Road, Tuen Wan, 000 Hong Kong. So, and uh, you know, this should, just being nickel metal hydride, it should be much better at uh, holding a charge. And uh, there we go. See, there's the battery pack there. Uh, same voltage, 7.2, super power, 4600 milliamp hour. So that seems to be like, um, well, if that's to believe, 4600, because I know. Sometimes, um, you know, the manufacturers get a little bit um, overzealous, uh, you know, in the describing their battery charge. But and this is the charger for it. It looks very cheap. Uh, there's almost no weight to this thing. I have no idea what's in this thing. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to open it up, to be honest. Um, but we could have a look. Let's uh, open this up so you can see under the hood of the boomerang. There it is. Now it has battery elimination uh, circuit, so you can actually um, get rid of the this battery pack that I have here. But I choose to add this because uh, what happens is if the regular battery runs out, it ends up affecting the remote, and uh, I lose control of my car. So I would rather um, have a separate battery pack I, although it does add some weight at least I can control my car uh, once the main battery drains and I don't have it running off into oblivion because once the main this remote goes if it's stuck in the position for acceleration it will just keep going until it runs into something at whatever speed it can all right so uh, you know I'm curious to see what's inside this battery so I think we're going to open it up uh, not the battery, I sorry, the charger, I mean. Um, I'm a bit concerned as to how uh, how lightweight this is. If you look at my old charger, I'm going to get that in a second. This is my old charger. It's uh, an Archer brand, 7.2 volt, around 400 milliamp. Uh, and I'm, I don't know if I can use this. I mean, this is obviously NICAD nickel metal hydride input is also 110 to 240 output is 1.2 to 12 volts 100 to 220 so I'm you know this seems a little bit um, very flexible as far as its output and its milliamperage is uh, much lower so I, you know I don't really understand why the difference this is much heavier it looks like a nice bulky transformer in here and this thing it, it looks like there's nothing in here so and you know the the plugs are really, really, really cheap. Um, and I don't want to cause a fire hazard or blow up anything, especially. Um, it's not worth it. I do have a case that I'll show you that I, I figured I, I just borrowed or, or from something that wasn't being used anymore. And I safely put um, my uh, battery in there while I'm charging just to avoid any issues in case. And I always recommend to watch your batteries when they're uh, charging don't just leave them alone somewhere and run away uh, stay nearby just in case because there have been cases where things have gone completely okay so check this out 
you have a wire going from the mains that looks like it's a thread a thread okay there's nothing there nothing directly from the mains 120 volt that's I don't know this has got to be the world's worst charger there's the uh, the back side and what you can see there is um, there's a diode probably rectifying the uh, the voltage there that's going through that and uh, a little tiny transformer a few more caps I'm assuming that's a uh, some kind of a uh, voltage regulator uh, but in any case this has got to be extremely uh, poor design and probably not by any code at all I mean this is I've never seen a charger this flimsy so I don't know whether to trust it or not to be honest if uh, you can leave a comment um, and I can use my old charger to charge my nickel metal hydride battery I'd prefer that over this thing because uh, honestly I don't think this is safe at all caution indoor use only okay it should be caution don't use at all okay I just wanted to show you the box I use to um, charge the battery it's uh, from some other appliance or uh, kit of some kind I'm not even sure what it's from exactly but uh, it's a pretty rugged box and you'll notice I just made a small hole on the top here just enough to allow the um, battery to come out here or likewise the charging uh, cable to slip in like this and so once plugged in I let that hang through there and the battery can safely be charged inside while this is closed okay and if God forbid anything goes on at least I have a little protection here I mean it's not a steel box although that probably would be preferred this is plastic so technically it could catch on fire um, but you know you should be around and if you smell anything at all you unplug it and so on so a steel box would be preferred but this is gonna have to do for now and uh, now I want to show you a, a small zoomed in version so I can get all this stuff out of the, the uh, power plug that came with the new battery I've opened it up again because I, I just want to show everyone close-up detail I'm very concerned about it now what concerns me is this is the 120 mains voltage coming in very 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 thin I mean I don't know what gauge this is but it is really really tiny really tiny now I realize it, it's not drawing much current so then maybe you know if it's not drawing much current that's going to be enough but you know you look at the traces on the back here you know and I, I know that they're they need to have a little bit of room again I'm gonna zoom in if I can here um, maybe I can go closer there we go you can see that's how it goes in there's the design it's about as simple as you can get here not many components not much going on you could figure this out just by looking here and then if I flip it over there's the top side Okay, we have a, a diode that rectifies the AC, uh, there's a large cap there um, also which really smooths it out a bit and um, several components here that I'm sure are not very high quality. Even the caps, I uh, wonder what caps these are, what brand, um, SD, what is SD, I have no idea and this one here is a an FX brand and the last one there is a um, FX brand as well but yeah this just does not instill confidence in me as to you know whether it's um, going to charge the battery how long it's going to take to charge the battery and whether I'm going to be safe doing so uh, so if you have any comments just let me know 
what you think and uh, if it's safe to use this thing at all or can I use my other charger from many years ago that feels much heavier I mean I don't know the quality of this either but I'm going to uh, um, assume that it's made because it's made in Taiwan and it's been through you know some um, you know it's got a name that's uh, associated with the company whereas this thing here has an, it's no name there's nothing no branding at all it doesn't say a thing so I don't know who came up with this and where what factory was made but there's absolutely no marking at all so I'm gonna assume that because this charger is branded and it's older and it feels like it's got some weight behind it um, that it's much better quality the only question is can I use it to charge this battery the 4600 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride or so it says I don't know what's inside here I mean I hope they didn't change even the type of battery to an ICAD and call it nickel metal hydride I have no idea but will it charge that because you know this this charger they gave us is it says NICAD and nickel metal hydride so is it changing the um, you know is the circuit does not look sophisticated enough to actually um, tell the difference between an ICAD and a nickel metal hydride battery I know uh, lithium ion batteries require a little more sophisticated control of the charge current and voltage but for these NICAD and nickel metal hydride nickel metal hydride are they actually going to be charging the same you know what's the output voltage on this uh, very cheap charger it says 1.2 to 12 volts well which one is it or does that vary based on the the battery what it's willing to take you know and why is this controlled out with an output of 7.2 volt at 400 milliamp so again just let me know and uh, I'm gonna test that out and just uh, we'll figure out what's going on with this and uh, I welcome your feedback thank you